Well, very good morning, everybody. For Thursday, the 8th of September. The washing machine is on full spin and it's giving us lots and lots of uh, troughs, fronts, you name it. Um, it seems to have rained more in the last week than it did for the entirety of the summer. And that's thanks to this low pressure system, which is anchored right over the top of us at the moment. It is starting to move away to the east. And as we go through into Saturday, it might settle down a bit. But don't worry, because um, uh, Hurricane Danielle, which is currently in the middle of the Atlantic, is starting to weaken. But it will become a low pressure system, as you'd imagine, and might line up to give us a bit more problem next week. And those eagle eyed of you may have noticed there's another hurricane just sat out there in the Atlantic. We are, we are in hurricane season and the jet stream does seem to be breathing towards us. The winds at height, well, um, a little bit variable in some parts. I think we're going to be generally seeing a predominantly south to southwesterly flow as we have over the last couple of days. Areas more inland up and towards Birmingham in the Midlands, we may see a little bit more southeast in the wind. Uh, the satellite picture, uh, oh, it isn't loading, but uh, would show you lots and lots of cloud and rain and everything like that. We'll look at the rain alarm in a minute. But as you can see on here, um, We've got uh, a fairly unsettled day, a bit like yesterday. We did manage to get a reasonable amount done yesterday. So uh, I'm hoping if it settles down, we might be able to have something similar today, but uh, it is going to be tricky nonetheless. That's the current state of play at the moment. Um, we have uh, a number of lines of showers just over the top of us. I'm hoping that we get into this gap down here, but so uh, yeah, there's no real pro promises uh, with that, but it'd be nice if we could line ourselves up for a couple of hours of good weather. Top temperature today uh, sat around 18 degrees, about seasonal average, and dew points around 14, which is what you'd expect. Current at Lasham have a temperature of 14 and a dew point of 12. And the picture outside, it's damp and dreary, uh, almost winter-like, uh, with uh, a fair amount of rain currently falling, uh, but at least the grass is very happy. Cross country potential is none today. And soaring wise, um, it doesn't really get going uh, uh, today. Um, when it, we had some local soaring yesterday, but um, uh, yeah, so potentially the chance for some, uh, 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 yeah, for, for some uh, clouds at maybe two and a half thousand feet or so. But uh, as it says here, lots and lots of chance for uh, sort of hail and thunderstorms and X, Y, Z, and those cloud tops will be going pretty high. So, yeah, it's a day where we just have to wait and see, to see what conditions we get and whether we can uh, make use of them. Airspace wise, um, there's not too much west on the greens active. There's quite a lot of activity in the solitary plane at the moment. So, yeah, all the solitary plane danger areas are active. And uh, Benson, is that Benson or is that something else? Let's have a look. Uh, military fly past, but not today and uh, there's also a fly past at Worthy Down um, just south of South Wonston, uh, just south of the A303 and that's this afternoon evening at uh, around 6.45 in the evening so it won't really affect but uh, yeah uh, no times in our area not particularly much so to sum up today uh, just like the last few days it's going to be very, very unsettled and uh, the chance of some thunder and lightning, but hopefully some brighter gaps, the odd chance of a thermal if we get lucky. Operationally today, runway 23 will be in use. Uh, we have a Navajo due in around 1 to 1.30, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, I think we might want to just uh, stay indoors for the moment and wait to see when we get some brightness. See you on the airport. Bye.